A federal judge has ordered the city of Chicago to pay $62,500 for withholding records. In a wrongful death lawsuit marking the eighth time Mayor Rahm Emanuel's administration has been sanctioned for failing to turn over potential evidence in a police misconduct case. The city agreed to the amount this month after U.S. District Court Judge Joan Gotchel upheld an earlier ruling that the city acted in bad faith when it ignored a court order and made little effort to provide documents to the lawyer for the family of 20-year-old Duvante Young, who was shot and killed by an officer five years ago. A plainclothes officer fatally shot Young after authorities alleged Young opened fired on two people in West Englewood in August 2012. Police never located a gun. The city is continuing to waste taxpayers. Money in the court's time, said attorney H. Candace Gorman, who is representing the Young family. It's ridiculous. The taxpayers are angry. The judges are angry. And the city just doesn't get it. In the Young case, the judge repeatedly has criticized the city for its approach to discovery, the legal process that allows the two sides in a lawsuit to uncover relevant facts through the exchange of documents, the taking of depositions and other disclosures. When the process breaks down, plaintiffs can find themselves at a disadvantage, their lawyers uncertain they are working with all of the evidence. As part of the discovery process, Gorman sought documents from the Independent Police Review Authority, the city agency that investigated all officer-involved shootings and other misconduct allegations. IPRA has now been succeeded by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA. Gorman was initially told by a law department attorney that he could not ask IPRA for the documents because the agency operated separately from the city. According to court records, an IPRA official, however, then refused to give Gorman the records and said she had to go through the city law department. In her ruling, Gotchel noted that IPRA was a city agency and concluded that Gorman had been given the runaround. The judge also ruled that city attorney Matthew Hurd, who has since gone into private practice, made an honest effort to obtain the documents but was caught in a tug of war between the departments. The fault here lies with the paddles rather than the human. Ping pong ball Hurd became. Gotchel wrote, Gotchel originally sanctioned the city in January. After the city asked her to reconsider. The judge upheld the decision and ruled that Gorman should be compensated for the cost she incurred trying to obtain the documents. The city recently settled with Gorman, agreeing to pay her $62,500 for the fight she waged since subpoenaing the records more than a year ago. The city believes that its attorneys acted in good faith. However, we accept the judge's ruling that the city should pay some measure of attorneys' fees and costs associated with resolving this discovery dispute. Law Department spokesman Bill McCaffrey said in a statement, In order to avoid further litigation, we reached an agreement with the plaintiff's counsel regarding the amount Gorman agrees Heard made an honest effort to comply with the subpoena, but she takes exception to how the city's agencies stonewalled her request. It took her over a year to obtain the documents, a process that should take no more than two months, she said. That's just crazy, she said. The city plays games. And they don't play fair. The ruling marks the eighth punishment against the city since Emanuel took office in 2011 and is the largest pretrial sanction it has paid in a police misconduct case, according to court records. All total discovery-related penalties, which include two large Post-trial sanctions have cost the city more than $1 million over the past six years. The ruling also renews questions about how the law department handles potential evidence in police misconduct cases, which are often high-profile, controversial and potentially costly for taxpayers. A Tribune investigation last year that analyzed nearly 450 cases alleging police misconduct since Emanuel took office found that a federal judge had to order the city to turn over potential evidence in nearly one of every five cases. In January 2016, Emanuel asked former U.S. Attorney Dan Webb to lead a review of the law department's handling of police misconduct cases. 
Webb found no pattern of intentional misconduct among city attorneys, but he also recommended more than 50 reforms to address problems in the office. The law department has worked with COPA, the successor agency to IPRA, to develop a protocol for obtaining documents that are in COPA's possession and are responsive to discovery requests. McCaffrey said, however, if opposing counsel makes what the law department believes is an overbroad, burdensome or otherwise inappropriate discovery request, the law department will continue to make appropriate objections. SST Claire at ChicagoTribune.com Twitter at Stacey related former city of Chicago attorney accused of withholding information in police shooting suspended for 90 days, Emanuel's law department sanctioned again. For not disclosing police files, senior city lawyer quits after judge rules he hid evidence in fatal police shooting.